The coastal areas of Odisha faced heavy rainfall and strong winds on Thursday morning as the severe cyclonic storm Dana approached closer to the state's coastline, according to the India Meteorological Department. The IMD reported that sea conditions remained rough as the cyclone moved towards land. The cyclone was expected to make landfall between Bhitarkanika National Park and Dhamra Port in Odisha early Friday morning with wind speeds potentially reaching up to 120 km per hour. The weather system which had been moving north-northwest over the Bay of Bengal at a speed of 12 km per hour over the past 6 hours was located about 260 km southeast of Paradeep, 290 km south-southeast of Dhamra and 350 km south of Sagar Island in West Bengal as of 5.30 am. IMD projections suggested that the cyclone would continue moving northwest and would likely cross the North Odisha and West Bengal coasts between Puri and Sagar Island close to Bhitarkanika and Damra between midnight on October 24th and the morning of October 25th. At that time, it was expected to be classified as a severe cyclonic storm with wind speeds of 100 to 110 km per hour gusting up to 120 km per hour. Paradeep recorded the highest rainfall of 62 mm while Rajnagar in Kendrapada district received 24 mm of rain in the past 4 hours. Meteorologists predicted that moderate to intense rainfall along with thunderstorms and winds of 30 to 40 km per hour would affect parts of Bhadrak, Balasore, Jajpur, Katak, Khorda, Jagatsingpur, Kendrapada and Puri districts throughout the day. Manorama Mahanti, director of the Regional Meteorological Centre in Bhubaneswar, indicated that the storm was likely to change direction slightly towards the west and west-southward after making landfall. This shift could result in rainfall in southern Odisha around October 26th. However, the current predictions for landfall located and wind speeds remained unchanged. Authorities also reported that roads in parts of Balasore, Bhadrak, Bhitarkanika and Puri had been blocked by uprooted trees due to strong winds. Stay tuned to Odisha Post Live to stay updated.